Attraction can come in all different forms. Love is love. Most of the time, we talk about romance and attraction in the context of a man and a woman. That isn't always the case. Unfortunately, there hasn't been a lot of research into the LGBTQ elements of attraction. As time goes on, we're sure that more data will be made available. But for the time being, here's a few signs of attraction that we think apply to LGBTQ couples. Numerous studies have shown that attraction is linked with dilation of the pupils. One study even mentions that same-sex attraction and bisexual attraction can be observed by measuring pupil dilation. So if you really want to see if your crush likes you back, look deep into their eyes. The eyes never lie. If someone is attracted to you, they're probably going to take every opportunity they can to touch you. We feel that this applies to LGBTQ couples just as much as it does for heterosexual couples. One study stated that touching was a major sign of flirting, mostly when greeting or saying goodbye. The longer couples touched, the higher the attraction. Once again, we return to the eyes, the windows to the soul. Studies have shown that maintaining eye contact is a major sign of attraction and flirting. The longer someone keeps eye contact, the more likely that they're attracted to you. The eyes are such an intimate part of the body, but they're not connected to any one gender or sexual identity. That's why this is a universal sign of attraction that often holds true. Sure, sometimes people just want to wear revealing outfits without trying to attract others. We're not saying that showing skin always means that someone is attracted to you. But one study found that a common flirting technique was subtly exposing more of the body to their crush. An example might be something as innocent as rolling up the sleeves. Could this be a sign of flirting that extends to the world of LGBTQ? We think so. Sometimes it's easy to see that someone is attracted to you. It's written all over their face. Some are harder to read than others, but there are facial expressions that only say one thing. I'm interested. According to one study, a big sign of flirting is a coy glance. This could definitely be a sign that is just as common in the LGBTQ world, as it's a pretty universal facial expression that means the same thing, no matter who you are. When we're interested in someone, we tend to paint ourselves in the best possible light. It's only natural. We want our crush to see the best, most attractive side of ourselves. In the world of psychology, this is known as self-promotion, and a few studies have mentioned it as a major sign of flirting. Could this be a sign that your LGBTQ crush is interested? We don't see why not. One Redditor has this to say about the matter. We like to say we can pick up on vibes and other stuff, but in all honesty, we either just ask, go to a gay bar, still ask, or pick up an app and talk to local gays in the area. I've found there are some social events that gays will get together and do stuff such as weekly book clubs and just coffee shop chats. Overall, it's really just asking. This is actually really good advice for everyone, not just LGBTQ people. If you really want to know if your crush likes you, then just ask. There's no better way. I smile at hot boys who are dressed well, particularly if there's bright colors or skinny jeans involved. If they're gay, they'll usually smile back. Although if they're not single or interested, the smile will be somewhat reserved. That's definitely another interesting approach. It seems like a mixture of both the outfits and smiling is enough to let this person know whether someone likes them back. It seems to work well for them. Don't forget to subscribe for more content from Psych2Go. Thanks for watching.